The Royal Palace of La Almudaina is located just opposite Palmas Cathedral, Lasu. Its elevated position overlooking the Bay of Palma. The word Almudaina comes from the Arabic for fortress. However, long before the Moors arrived in the 10th century, the site had already been used by Romano and even farther back by the Taloids. When the Christian took possession of the island in the 13th century, the Moorish features were largely demolished under the King Jaime II. The palace adopted the Levantine Gothic style. up the royal staircase and see the royal apartment with its opulent interior designs. Visitors can wander through its numerous rooms and be amazed with the beautiful tapestries paintings, furniture, and artifacts from different time periods throughout its history.
La Almudaina is the royal castle or palace of the city of Palma. The current castle was modified from the Muslim Alcazar work started in 1281 and continued until 1343. During the reigns of Jaime II, the son of Jaime I the Conqueror, Sancho I and Jaime III. The Almudaina was the seat of the prosperous independent kingdom of Majorca in the 14th century, during the reigns of the aforementioned monarch and his successor Sancho I and Jaime III, until it passed to the crown of Aragon with Peter IV in 1349. In its wall, it distills the history of the island from the time of the megalithic settlements. was converted into a Gothic style under Jaime II, but elements of Islamic architecture remains, like the Moorish arches seen from the seafront. During the night and lit up, these arches like a row of lanterns. In the old king's palace, it was the study or library of the kings of Majorca. In 1459, it was the residence of John II of Aragon's son, Prince Charles of Viana, who came to the island in August of that year to propose to his father a solution to contention that existed between them. Was once the bedroom or cumbra of the old king's palace, 
situated in the southeast corner of the building and overlooking the sea, it is illuminated by the windows of an elegant Gothic gallery. One of the historical events have taken place in this room was the surrender of the Muslim Emir to Jaime I in 1229. The room displays a mudehar coffered ceiling similar to the ones in the previous rooms. room was the old Recambra del Rey or King's dressing room. It has a 14th century coffered ceiling and an interesting painted frieze dated from the time of the Christian occupation of the palace which depicts human and animal figures and vases among volutes and scroll work. According to the old records, a private chapel was subsequently incorporated into the room. There are three series of three grand rooms where you may notice the brick in Gothic arches cut off in the middle. These rooms, which are furnished with period pieces and tapestries, would have once been doubled their present height and form a vast hall.
Capilla de Santa Ana or St. Anne Chapel next to the apartment is noteworthy for its Pyrenean marble portal, which is a rare example of the Romanist style on the island. With so many conquerors, it's not surprising how many styles are captured within these ancient walls. The palace is currently the official residence of the King and Queen of Spain. That said, it's unlikely you'll catch a glimpse of the royals as they tend to stay at their Marivent residence. St. Anne's Chapel is an excellent example of Levantine Gothic architecture. In spite of the changes that have been made to its exterior, the interior is virtually intact. The entrance displays clearly Catalan Romanist features. Despite the major restoration work carried out on it in 1904, when Queen Maria Cristina was regent, its main architectural elements were not affected during the work. The large windows were restored and various layers of lime on the walls were removed. The courtyard was laid out in 1309 and flanked by palm trees make a pleasant place to sit in late afternoon when the sun falls on the cathedral towers overhead.
present, it is used by the king as an official residence for the state ceremonies and receptions in the summer. The building comprises a rectangular turret housing the king's palace and a wing extending along the west facade that form the queen's palace. A large hall called the Tinel, built on the southern city wall that overlooks the sea and a royal chapel delimiting the courtyards. The queen's courtyard to the north and the king's courtyard and patio de armas to the south. <music>